All right, what we've got here is a little canary. It's not been doing well. It's very thin. There's the breast muscle is pretty well atrophied. The um, breastbone is very sharp here. Um, the owner's been treating it with various antibiotics, but what's happened now is the bird stopped eating and drinking. So it's pretty well impossible to get any medication to it. So we are going to use the crop feeding tube to get some of this medication. I've mixed it with a little bit of um, hand rearing formula so it's going to get a little bit of nutrition as well. Now this particular needle is a disposable crop feeding needle um, rather than the permanent metal ones. So the first thing we're going to do is measure the length of how far we're going to insert the needle and you do that by taking approximately where the crop is which is right here and you're going to take it from the, this side of his mouth down until you hit that location and that's around about there. I'm going to take a little marker, a uh, permanent sharpie marker here and I'm going to mark on the tube where I want to insert the tube to. Now I'm going to take the bird and very gently just by putting my fingers under his chin I'm going to vent gently straighten his esophagus so I'm going to stretch his neck just a little tiny bit and make sure the esophagus is straight so the tube can go down easily. Then I'm going to insert it in his, in his mouth from the right side, my right side, to the left side and I'm going to drop the tube down. Now gravity pretty well takes it at that point. There is no resistance until the black mark is reached. I can feel the tube under my thumb here against his neck and then I'm going to squeeze the plunger pull out the tube slowly and keep the bird upright. Very important, do not tilt the bird forward otherwise it can um, regurgitate and inhale what you've just inserted into the crop. And from here then you would take your crop feeding tube, disinfect it and release your bird back into the cage.